I'm now ready to install the hardware and the first thing that I'm going to do is cut the mortise for the lock. And the reason I'm doing that first is because this part of the box is much easier to work on without the lid in place. The lock is actually going to be installed after the lid is in place. I just want to be able to cut the mortise now while I have easy access to the front of the box. The mechanism for the lock needs to be recessed into the front of the box. This straight edge is going to tell me exactly where the back plate for that mechanism is sitting on the box when I'm done lining it up. I want the center of the keyhole to line up exactly with the center of the front of the box and the hasp needs to be positioned so that the top edge of the hasp just clears the top of the box but still moves freely in and out of the lock. Once I have that edge of the lock in position I can remove the lock, mark it and then repeat the process for the other three sides. The top and bottom edge of the mortise for the lock needs to be cut fairly precisely because if I cut this slot too wide, I'm going to be cutting away the wood that I'm going to need to mount the lock plate to the box. But I am going to be cutting the sides of the mortise a little wide so I can slide the lock from side to side slightly to make any fine adjustments that I need to line the hasp up with the lid. To rough out the mortise, I just drilled several overlapping holes with a Forstner bit and then used a chisel to knock out anything that was left in between the drill holes. You just want to take your time and proceed slowly because the depth of the mechanism is roughly 5 eighths of an inch thick and the front panel is only just a shade over 3 quarters of an inch so you don't have a lot of material to play with. Now that the hinges are locked in position by the mortises at the top edge of the box and the back edge of the lid, it's time to turn our attention back to the lock mechanism. The location of the hasp on the inside face of the lid is the last piece of the puzzle that we need to solve before we can start installing the hardware. After taking a few minutes to get the lock exactly where I want it, I need to mark the outside edges of the hasp and exactly where the front face of the box meets the lid. Now I can remove the lid from the box and put it face up on the bench and scribe the location of the hasp on the inside face of the lid. Once the hinges are nailed in place, I'll nail the hasp to the lid and I'll use the hasp to figure out the location of the lock. Once I get the hasp moving freely in the lock, I can nail it down. The nails I'm using are really small, so I'm not going to bother pre-drilling these. 